Thank you. Believe high school football yeah. already. Take a look. Let's go out to the big picture right here. On the big map, we have watching showers and thunderstorms. Still a few left over out there. Most of them have diminished. We do have a little bit of lightning in some places. I'll show you right now. We'll tap on the big screen, zoom on in. A couple of showers still moving through the metro area. In fact, let's zoom right in here, and you can see what that looks like. Here's Charleston. Here's uh, up to Hobcaw over to Mount Pleasant. Still seeing a few leftover showers over there. Avondale as well. Let's slide this off to the uh, south. And again, Parker's Ferry back up toward Jericho Ravenel on over toward, uh, say, Walterboro, just on this side of Walterboro. Uh, we're looking at uh, a couple of thunderstorms, even down toward the Ace Basin. So there's a little bit of lightning left with this. That should continue to diminish as well. As far as uh, up north, let's show you what happened up at Georgetown today. Big showers moved out of Andrews, actually out of Kings Tree. Big thunderstorms rocked uh, the uh, folks up there in Georgetown. You folks along Front Street, Prince Street, up toward Pauley's Island. That's what that looked like as those storms pushed on through. Right now, thankfully, all those are continuing to diminish. Friday night lights, you're ready for football underway about now, We're looking at about 85. You know, that's an average. A couple of showers still out there. We're going to keep the chance at 30%. By 9 o'clock, 20% chance. That chance goes down pretty rapidly now that we're losing the heating of the day. And as we head into the evening hours, of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Coming up new in a few minutes, got your weekend weather. Also, we've got a Category 3 hurricane, Danny, out in the Atlantic. I'll have more on that live in just a few minutes, Lisa. Thanks, Bill. And if you're